We are in Hondo, Texas. It's in the south central part of the state. And we're at the Royce Farm and Royce Grain. We grow corn and milo and wheat and oats and cotton. Well, my dad and my uncle purchased this farm together in 1928. And as a young boy, I took pride in everything they did. And I always said I'd like to be like them. So I took the opportunity my dad gave me when the surrounding farms were just occupied by elderly people and they didn't have sons so we had the opportunity to, to rent the land from them. Early mid 80s my father wanted to add value to his crops because during that time markets were really depressed it was really hard time for the farms to make a living. People from the hill country were coming down and buying corn to feed to their deer and sheep and goats and they started wanting it in bags and he started off small scale and sacking it out of a trailer and then just kind of grew in in stages from there. This was the first one, that was the second one. We kind of build them as they're lined up here. Yeah. The Royce Grain Operation and William Royce Farms, I think they have an advantage over some other producers, at least that I've seen, and that they take tremendous pride in ownership. Everything that they have is very, very well taken care of, whether it be their facilities or their equipment. Their bookwork is meticulous. These guys are top notch all the way around. We process between 800,000 and a million bushels of grain every year. This is corn we're bringing in from a farmer. From there, it'll go up into the grain cleaner and then it'll go into where we bag it. That bagger automatically puts 50 pounds in it and then the next guy runs it through the sole machine and stack it on pallet. And this is our other bagging line and we have a robot that stacks the bags on the pallet. It probably doubles our efficiency. Without Texas Farm Credit, I don't think we could expand it. I feel like Farm Credit has helped to grow our business into what it is today just by their ability to loan us the financial resources that we needed to grow at the time we needed to do it. We couldn't operate without them because it's they're very understanding, they're realistic, they understand what our goals are and what we're trying to accomplish.